Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. We're gonna do an attempt number two with the German Angora rabbit breeding. And we do have Carl behind me here. We're gonna try with Carl again. And probably some interesting information that we didn't discuss in the first part of this video is that um, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why we're doing hybrids for our German Angora rabbits, not just pure German Angoras, is again because of the difficulties with breeding German Angoras. And not every breeder has this difficulty, not every rabbit, not every German ha rabbit has this difficulty, but there are a lot that do. And the difficulty is the Germans struggle to breed when it is um, in in times like this. There's there's different times that the Germans struggle to breed, and that is that's what we're one of the things that we're experiencing is it seems like the uh, certain times of the year, for example, August through January, February, um, the Germans they'll breed then. But there's a lull when it, it seems to be a bit more of a struggle and I've talked with other breeders who have experienced this that sometimes um, different things happen with the Germans and they just they won't breed at a certain time of the year or they um, they do breed and then they don't get pregnant so there's all sorts of difficulties and what we found is obviously this is not consistent through the entire German breed and it's not consistent through all rabbits. There's breeds of rabbits, especially um, the hybrids that they can breed and they can get pregnant throughout the entire year. So let's give this a try. So here we have Carl. We'll set our camera down, open this up. We take this got a little box in there and we want to take that out because we don't want anyone hiding in the box. And we're going to bring Harriet with opening up Harriet's pen. And we're going to put Harriet in. We've placed her in and we're looking for a successful breeding. We want success, and by successful again, we want fall off. So we made sure the feed pen is empty. She's looking in it to see if there's any scraps that we don't want her distracted by the feed. She is distracted by the feed and she is quite hunkered down right now. You can see, let's see if we can get a view from down below. So this is the rabbit from down below under the wire. She is not lifted whatsoever. Now I moved her and she's she, she's moved so she's not hunkered down anymore. So this is a view from down below of the rabbits and you want to see her lift her back end up. You can hear she's making she made a little bit of noise um, but she's got you can see she's got her tail down. She has an entire back her entire back end here is down this is not what we want to see. This is not what we want to see for braiding rabbits. Um, this is obviously, this isn't the first attempt in breeding these two rabbits. And this is something with the German breed that we're hoping to, to work on and to fix. We don't want to see rabbits that won't breed. And it's, um, it's again, it's not all Germans. Not, not every single German rabbit is like this. So we're gonna back up a little bit from Carl and shut this. So some, sometimes what you'll have is the buck will jump around, hop around, and he'll mark, he'll spray. He's spraying all around. He'll, he'll mark with urine the, the rabbit. Right now he's chinning the dough. You're watching and it's, it's just saying that this is mine. This is my rabbit. Henry is still, you can barely see him over there. He's still playing around. But she's not moving much. He's not moving much. She's not moving much. Carl would like to get her to move. But she's pretty much in the corner. So, for, 
For rabbit breeders, this is the last thing you want to see. You really don't want to see so much of a struggle. You really don't want to see uh, so much difficulty with breeding. You know, the positive is, is it, he's grooming her. Um, you know, he, she's not attacking him. He's not attacking her. Is there a chance they could breed? Yes. Does it look like it? No. She's really not showing signs of being receptive. Henry, get. Get. So she's out of the corner. That's a positive. Looks like she's trying to nibble on some of the stuff she's got in Carl's pen. His pine cones. A little bit of hay on the pine cones. The bunnies are face to face and she's really watching him. He's chinning her again. Um, she does have her back end higher up in the air right now, yet she, she's not in a position that the buck has access to her. Wrong way. So we're gonna go ahead and take her out because what we're seeing is we're not, we're just not seeing what we want to see. We're not seeing positives. We're not seeing him be able to, to get this right. We're not seeing her be receptive. And if she's not interested, then it doesn't happen. Make sure to hit the subscribe with the bell. That way you get notified of all of our videos. And we will see you on our next video, Mondays and Saturdays.